Okay, so this is a tutorial for JJK Curse Clash on how to properly import a model uh, specifically with its materials and a good way to set up decal materials and the decay decal materials that uh, ASO uses in his final like ultimate move. Uh, I'll also be going over how to do custom ones in the next video, but this is just for like the setup, so you'll still need to watch this if you want to do custom ones. The first thing you're going to want to do is install Nano Tools, which I have linked in the description, and this does have uh, outdated install tutorials. Uh, the install does work this way still, but I need to update the description with the new, new shit I've added. Uh, but you'll just grab the latest release, which at this point will be newer, probably. Uh, and then this will be what you see. So you're going to want to um, have your mesh you're importing and then the original mesh. So I have Maki's PSK here, which has all the materials in one mesh. This is what you're going to want. If you have like a GLTF import that has everything separated, combine all the meshes. What you're going to want to do is select... Uh, like select the mesh, go to edit mode, and then go to face select. You're probably going to be on vertices select. You're going to want to go to faces. Select a face, shift D, which will duplicate the face, and then separate it. And that was right click to separate. Then you're going to want to take this and just shove it inside the skull. Now with this inside the skull, uh, you're going to hit the UE Matte Dupe button. What that is going to do is it's going to duplicate that little face however many times a uh, material exists. So if you have 20 materials, it's going to duplicate it 20 times, apply each material to a face, and then re-merge it. So what that's going to do is it's going to give you not only a correct material order in UE when you import, it's also going to give you dummy materials. And JJK uses material slots for stuff, which means if you don't import them correctly, you can break things, uh, colors from the alternate colors might overwrite them, meshes might be hidden during an animation. It's just kind of not good. So this is just good practice. With that done, just name it like OG mats or something. And then... I would duplicate where you got the face from and name it like OG Mesh. So I have this FemC mod over Maki. And it has zero decals. I'm gonna do myself a favor and separate the outline. And then that should be good. I don't actually think I need this. I might delete this. Hopefully I cut that out of the video. Um, now I'm going to have this mesh, which is basically everything. Uh, do yourself a favor. Separate as much unnecessary stuff as you can. So I'm not going to have decal meshes on the hair. So I'm going to separate the hair. I'm not going to have decal meshes on uh, the headphones. So I'm too lazy to do that right now, um, but you should. You should basically have like as minimal as possible because you're going to be applying it to clothing and stuff. Now go to Maki, hit tab and grab the decal and decay decal materials. And remember, you can do this with anybody. I'm just using Maki because my character is over Maki. Now I can delete this because I have the OG mesh, so I don't need it. So I'll do the combined decal. Then I'll duplicate this just to be safe. Okay. And now I have these decal meshes. So these are um, basically like transparent... Uh, 2D planes that just get slapped over the model. So, skin has this green um, 
the green scars and then uh the red is for like clothing and stuff these are basically just um gonna determine color uh because the materials have special stuff inside it it's not really important the big thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and add a shrink wrap modifier and then target your mesh. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit until it gets to a point I like it. Okay, that seems to work for most stuff. There's still going to be some broken stuff in here though. So what you're going to do now is you basically are kind of done you just need to adjust meshes that aren't good so you can see like there's just quite a few that are broken here so i'm going to fix that so i'm going to hit tab and go into edit mode and i'm going to find the broken meshes like this one here and then move it outwards so it's all there That one's okay, this one's okay, this one's okay, this one's not okay. Might actually just put this entirely on the headsets. That looks kind of cool. Uh, this one's a little janky, so I should fix this. Okay, so... This part is just being sped up because I didn't say anything useful. It was just me lining the messers up. You can already see how to do that from what I've shown you so far. So just follow that uh, and you'll be fine. you're going to actually want to rig it. So apply all transforms and then go here to weights and just delete all of them. Click your mesh that you picked from that you're kind of like editing, editing them onto and shift select and then steal weights. Now you're going to want to do the same thing with the uh, Asa Mesh. So this one is usually a lot easier to do. If I'm struggling here, it's because of how the meshes. This uses the same texture. So you can just apply it and see how it'll look. So obviously this shit's like super stretched at the bottom. So let me undo all that. Do outside surface and then just kind of not hugging the face as tightly as I want it to. That might be okay. Yeah, that's probably good. And then the bottom chunk here can just go, honestly. Just delete it. Uh, and then you do the same thing. You apply it.
and then Yoink awaits. And you can combine these two. Go down to your UV maps. Enter them here and rename UV maps. That'll rename these UV maps here. Then also make sure your color attributes match. Now what you're going to do is combine this into OG mats and in combine decal into OG mats and all your stuff's going to be the correct order. It's going to match Maki. Your uh, instances will be here at the bottom. So I'll just Alt P. Run it to root, and that's it. Now I'll show you how to import it into UE. Okay, inside UE, make sure you apply the correct skeleton. And then I would choose for materials, create new instance to mess uh, materials and then grab whatever you're instancing. In my case, if you download from the GitHub, uh, you're going to have the big testicles. So that's what I'm going to instance from. Just kind of double checking stuff here should be fine. Okay, cool. So some of the stuff you're going to delete, like I'm going to delete the physics asset because I accidentally imported that. I'm going to delete these as well because I don't need them. And then all of these materials, I'm going to clear out my materials here. All of these materials go inside the materials folder. This is the model I imported. You can see it's pretty much all instance materials. Uh, and then you get to this. So for my uh, materials, I'm going to instance from the clothes and the skin. So I'm going to go into the materials, grab clothes, MC clothes and then skin, MC skin. MC hair, uh, I think FMC face was the other one that I needed. Now in meshes, I'm going to drag these in. Now just to reiterate here, all of this stuff is how Maki set up in game, from DK decal up. So because I have those little dummy meshes set up, which you can't even see here, they're so small. Uh, the game is going to correctly interpret all of this. So the decals work correctly. If you wanted to make custom recolors and use clothes, that would work correctly. Um, if you wanted to use any of these for whatever reason, they would all work correctly. Make sure to apply the animation blueprint as well. Then I will fix all of this.
I'm going to double check my textures. Drag this in. Then I will build it. Okay, so we're back in JJK, and you can see everything's working correctly. Um, you'll know if you work correctly by switching styles. Uh, if that breaks, you have your material set up just wrong. Uh, so I'm going to beat the shit out of Maki as ASO so I can hit his ultimate and then show you the decals up close. And as you can see, they worked. Uh, so I'll make a video on custom ones. Uh, other than that, this should work for you. 